Hi, John Valvano here, and in this video, we're going to demonstrate the checkout of Lab 7. So I'm going to pretend to be the student, and I'm going to log in, and Professor Yarabali will uh, be the TA. Okay, so before you uh, log in, the first thing you want to do is build your circuit. All right, you see there's my circuit all built. And the next thing I want to do is compile, download, and I'm going to do a quick check to make sure my, my system works because I don't want to waste the TA's time. So I hit the reset button. I'm back here. Hit the reset button. All right, and so the way it works, as you know, is when you hit the uh, the zoom button here, it goes through a couple of choices, and then here are the, uh, on the left is the decimal output, and on the right is the fixed point output. Okay, so my program works, um, and so, and I got my, uh, I got my Kyle open, and now I'm going to go find the zoom link and log in. Be right back. Okay, this is the zoom link, and I'm waiting to be um, admitted into the uh, into the room. Okay, computer audio. All right. Okay. Uh, unmute so he can hear me. Um, and so now I've joined his room and I'm waiting for him to ask me questions. Hello, John. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear yes. me? Yes, I can. All right. Are you ready for the checkout? I am. Okay, so I am going to start my video okay and there's my okay. pretty face uh, but okay. let's show you the other side where's the other side I go here choose the rear camera ah there's my circuit Woohoo! there you are all right all right all there right. it is so, all right um, I'm assuming you're gonna show me the working on on a real board and not simulation yes right. there it is all right okay. so uh, if you could uh, Tilt it a little so I can see your screen better. Uh, can you? Yeah, I can. I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just that's that's good. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. So um, first, uh, let's let's see the demonstration. Uh, so we we hit the hit the reset button first for me, please. Okay. There we go. On your microcontroller. Okay, I see a welcome screen. Okay. Uh, hit the uh, hit the switch. The which switch have you? Used? This one over here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The first time. Okay. Another time. All right. So for each press and release, there should be a new number that shows up. Okay. Point oh seven. Point oh nine. One zero. Nine nine. All right. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's let's uh, look at a couple of things first. Uh, on your uh, on your fixed point, what is what is your resolution? The resolution here is point oh one. So point oh. All right. Uh, so that's the smallest change you can display, right? Correct. Uh, so let's take a look at your code. All right. Um, show me how what how your code is uh, is divided into in what modules okay so I, I need to share my screen right can you see my screen no not yet all right so i gotta go share screen come back here zoom okay share screen uh host is disabled share screen so you gotta enable share screen that's you okay it's on Give you me a second uh share screen Multiple participants can share screen simultaneously. Okay, I turned it on, I think. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, so now I want to see Kyle. All right, All right can you see it now? Mm, yes, I can see your screen. All right, so this uh, is my project. So your main program should should be just what we gave you. There shouldn't be anything anything modified in your main program. Yeah, the only thing I did was put the date. Okay. Um, so, so uh, I, I just want you to tell me how you program the debouncing of the switch. You don't have to show me the code, uh, but what is your logic behind debouncing the screen? 
basically Six. basically the idea of debouncing is I wait 20 milliseconds between looking at the key and so there is a loop where I look at the key and if the key is pressed then it's going to return but if the key is not pressed I will wait 20 milliseconds before I look at it again uh, that way it'll be done bouncing by the time I return all right so um, let's let's see uh, so your uh, your your pro your code is divided into modules. Can you tell me what modules they are? How many modules they are, and what are they? Well, I don't know how many, but we'll count them. The lowest yeah. level is this one, the LCD.S, okay. and that has the busy wait interface for write data and write command. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that is this driver ST7735. Now it's it's given to me so I didn't actually write anything in there but it has a lot of middle level code okay. and then on top of that the highest level is print.s which has out deck and out fix so okay. these three are stacked on top of each other okay so 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 a call to uh, if you scroll down on your main uh, a little bit a call a call to LCD out deck Call, goes through what drill down that okay that seat. it's okay. implemented here and so mm -hmm. and then in out deck um, it does all the local variable stuff and then mm -hmm. embedded in it is a call to out care and now where mm -hmm. out care is out care is here in in um, in st7735 and out care, let's see if we can find it. O U T, out care. Okay. Now, out care again uh, was given to me. I didn't write it, but okay. what it does is call out draw S. I didn't write okay. it either, but if I drill down, there's an out draw S. And if I get low enough, okay, yeah. uh, there is um, uh, draw pixels as it's drawing. The individual fonts didn't draw it either, and then um, it sets the window, pushes the draw pictures, oh, yeah. and so okay. in here it so, eventually calls out data uh, yes. that we wrote at the lowest level. All right, that's that's good. Um, is um, okay as far as the circuit is concerned. Um, how many pins is your interface to your L? LCD three. Yeah. Oh, how uh, many? I don't know. There's. What, what are, so just tell me which one is the uh, is the. There should be one that tells you whether you're sending a command or. Uh, ah yes. Okay. So I, I can answer that by looking at this. Let me show you. Yeah. Let me show, show you me. this. Okay. So up here. Okay. This is how I wired it. Can you see my screen? Yeah. So. And, and so there's this pin here, which came out of PA6, which specifies whether the command, whether the thing I'm doing is either data that's drawn on the screen or a command which changes how it works. All right, yeah, that's, that's good. And I uh, uh, believe that's pretty much it. Um, so let's... So at this point, I could ask you questions about local variables. Uh, I can ask you to show me uh, your stack to visualize how we, we local variables work. And I could ask you uh, how, we, how your code might change if, for example, I go from a, um, from a resolution of 0.01 to 0.001. These are all possible questions or some variation of these. Okay. What grade did I get? Uh, you pass. Woohoo! Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, Dr. Garibaldi. Uh, thank you. All right. Bye. Bye now.